Hello buddy, Sam here, engineer, MBA and investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about the breaking news that happened this week with NTLA, of course we're talking about NTLA Therapeutics, with their press release that was released, like I said, this week on the 18th of October. And they released the following. Antelia Therapeutics announces FDA clearance of the IND application to initiate a pivotal phase three trial of Antelia 2001 for the treatment of ATTR. And specifically, this is happening in the US. Of course, the FDA is a US agency body for health and so on. So what does this mean, guys? What does this mean? This means that NTLA 2001, their successful program, First, and uh, not the only, they also have NTLA 2002 for this company going really well, but their first successful program, which we got data back in 2021, if you guys remember, in June. Uh, and ever since then, we've been getting data outside the US. Now, between you and me, in the science side of things, it doesn't actually matter. I think we all can attest to that. Yes, there are demographics. Yes, I mean, different regions, people react differently. And I think science-wise, we want to get that data. Uh, but a human is a human ultimately, right? And if you can show success in, say, UK or New Zealand, uh, data from patients over there, then there's absolutely no reason to believe that in the US, you're going to get a reverse set of data. You may not be as efficient or you may be more efficient, right? I mean, that's why they have to go through it. And that's exactly why they're doing it. Uh, but of course, every data that we've gotten from data sets that we've gotten from NTLA 2001 or even 2002 uh, was outside the US. Of course, I've mentioned in this channel many, many times the US uh, is a huge market. It is very important to get in the US and specifically get the green light from the FDA. In this case here, getting the IND application approved, which means that basically they can start phase three. Uh, they're gonna give more information in November 9 here in their uh, in the quarterly earnings report. But of course, this is the first in vivo CRISPR-based candidate to begin late stage clinical development. Of course, this is all FDA clearance. So FDA in the US has never allowed anything such as that uh, level of in vivo or in specific about CRISPR. So this is big, 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 guys. Um, what are my thoughts other than that? I think this is a big win for NTLA. I think this is a big win for NTLA because I think a lot of people don't appreciate this enough. The FDA is sort of, yes, it represents only the US, right? I mean, it has a responsibility to serve its US citizens, although they're not elected by the public, which is maybe another topic for another day. Um, they are there, of course, to protect citizens from all sorts of harms. And I mean, there's two sides of this coin, right? As much as you want to maybe, you know, talk about, you know, how much time they take, the delays and so on. Like, just think about it. It took them in, until 2023 to get this going, right? You can bet that the NTLA had this process going well before this year, right? Because uh, everyone wants to get through the FDA, right? Why? And that's because the FDA has such an reach in the world, right? I mean, Health Canada looks at FDA, right? In the Europe, EMA, EMEA, I mean, they look at, you know, the FDA. I mean, you look at UK, you look at New Zealand, Australia, all these countries, regions, they look at the FDA. They look up to the FDA, and not just for CRISPR, I'm talking about like just in anything, right? Foods, don't forget, this is not just for genome editing stuff. Like I'm talking about like anything that the FDA has to go through, and they have a whole set of products and, you know, therapies and, you know, pills and medicine that they have to go through on a daily, hourly basis, right? I mean, this is, it's a huge organizational body, right? And like I said, they, they, have the responsibility to serve its citizens, but pretty much everybody knows that whatever they end up doing, the rest of the world is gonna follow for obvious reasons. The US is such a big market. Uh, the FDA is, is the biggest health agency. I mean, I don't even think it, you, I'm pretty sure the FDA is bigger than like most countries agency combined. I'm, I'm quite confident on that statement alone. So this is big for NTLA. Um, I love that. I love it. I love it. I think this is something that I've been wanting to see. I mean, it's good to have data. 
from Inti late 2001. Don't, don't get me wrong, it does not change any sort of data that we've gotten so far. It's still an amazing set of data. I mean, Inti late 2001 and Inti late 2002, they're both, in my opinion, successful so far. The data has proven this. I mean, in this case here, ATTR, I mean, it's all about reducing TTR proteins and, you know, we've done it. I mean, I've seen it, I've seen it. And then we look at um, NTLA 2002, which HAE disease, I mean, NTLA, you know, NTLA is doing it. They're doing it, everything. They're firing from all cylinders. Everything's working really well for this company. I mean, the leadership, uh, things are going really, really well. I mean, and this is an attestment to that. I think this was the big news of this month, but there's gonna be one more big news and that's what I wanted to end this video with and it's gonna be the 31st of October. So I don't think next weekend, obviously we won't have a chance uh, because it'll be the 29 or 30 October, 29 October, so it won't be the 31st, but the 31st October, which is gonna be in the following week, it's gonna be the date where the FDA gets a yay or no from an external committee about Hexacell. Of course, this is not this company's program, but in the CRISPR landscape for CRISPR therapeutics and Vertex, Hexacell or uh, CTX001, formerly known as, and the external committee is basically gonna give a yes or no. It's not the FDA decision, but from past historical decisions, from what I've gathered, the external committee uh, decision usually reflects what the FDA goes with and the FDA is supposed to give a response to this hexacell program by early December by early December not on early December it's by it could be next week could be like the week after it could be November it could be mid-November who knows so that's gonna be a big news but this is really good guys let me know in the comments guys what do you guys think about this press release from in TLA I think it's big news I think it's great news uh, unfortunately the stack didn't move that much but hey are we really that surprised? I mean, there is a disconnect between public markets and science, specifically about CRISPR, but that's why we're here, guys. That's why we're here promoting information for free. So as always, guys, like this video if you found value, subscribe if you're not, and let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much.